Three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition, good control. There's Mach 1. The pilots have started trimming for that turn towards space. Point of maximum pressure exerted on the vehicle by the atmosphere. Those now. And traveling over a thousand miles an hour. That's Incredible. Awesome. Go Keisha, go <laughs> Anna, go John. So everybody on board has been cleared to unstrap and enjoy that zero G experience. The pilots have unlocked the feather. That's the preparation so that they can raise the feather here momentarily. Well, going to the window and taking in this just absolutely incredible view. The feather is all the way up. We have a predicted apogee of about 289,000 feet. And they are officially astronauts. Welcome to space. Woo. Congratulations <laughs> to John, to Keisha, to Anna on becoming astronauts today. And Earth below. Oh, man, it's just incredible. I, I can see that they just can't take their... They do that before we get to about 0.1 Gs. The pilots... Virgin Galactic launches its first civilian passengers into the weightlessness of space, the culmination of a nearly two-decade program for commercial space tourism. The three passengers, John Goodwin, 80, Keisha Skahaf, 46, and her daughter Anastasia Mayers, 18, pushed above 80 kilometers or 50 miles in altitude, the level marking the edge of space where the pull of gravity is minimal. Right now, and that's a, uh, a left turn so that uh, CJ, the pilot, the commode's up and uh, taking advantage of the ground effect. It's extra lift you get when you're close to the ground. We've crossed the threshold. That's the beginning of the runway. Beautiful. And touchdown of the main drag associated with that. Now I started to lower the nose. Astronauts and see more from this incredible flight. Now we'll continue the celebration here. join us and I mean this goes to any of you or all of you um, but how did you feel it was uh, a completely surreal experience but the, the, the most Im impressive thing was uh, looking at earth from space it, just the pure clarity the pure was very moving oh my gosh quite surreal and uh, no a but without a doubt, the most exciting day of my life. But I'm hoping that I instill in other people around the world, as well as people with Parkinson's, that it doesn't stop you doing things that are out of the, the normal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked at the things that you feel. Mm -hmm. You are so much more connected to everything than you would expect to be. Like, you felt like a part of the team, a part of the ship, a part of the universe, a part of Earth. It was incredible, and I'm still starstruck. <laughs> but I'm still up there. <laughs> I'm not here yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm still up there. And it's just amazing that you can land so smoothly on the runway coming back from space. But it is OK to dream big. And it is OK to voice your dream. And you will be uncomfortable trying to get to that dream. But this is how we stretch ourselves. And you got to go beyond your limits. Um, as someone so young, I, I definitely do understand where a lot of the self-doubt comes from. But as my mom said, um, everyone's dreams are valid and there is always a possibility for them to come through. <laughs> 